Hi everyone, 2017 is fastly approaching. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to to give everybody a, a word for the new year and, and just kind of tell you uh, what I see God doing in the earth and, and in the lives of people. You know, when we think of a prophetic word and, and what it's designed for, um, a prophetic word is designed to fill us with hope. It's designed to give us a confident expectation of life. It's designed to give us a confident expectation of seeing God's life manifesting um, in us. Apart from, from our works or apart from, from our doing, but just by God and, and His grace. And, and, and what can happen many times is, is we can look at our lives or look at what we see going on in our lives and in the world around us. And, and we can sometimes feel hopeless because we can't really see what God's doing in our lives with our physical eyes. And, and so sometimes we can find ourselves wondering if God's doing something in our lives or if God's moving on our behalf or um, if we missed it and now we don't know if God's moving on our behalf and do we need to jump to some new doctrine to try to get God to move on our behalf. Um, and, and just from the foundation of all those what ifs, we can find ourselves feeling hopeless. And see, what can happen at that point is that a prophetic word can come, and it can come and tell us what God's doing in our lives. It can come and give our hearts eyes to see God moving in our lives, and the way in which He's moving in our lives, and the things that He's doing in our lives. And then what can happen is, is, is through that prophetic word coming and giving us eyes to see God moving on our behalf, and the areas that He's moving um, in our lives, we can just find our, our hearts filled with hope. We can just find our hearts filled with the confident expectation. And we can just find our, our, our minds and our, and our hearts going to rest because we can see God moving on our behalf. And, and what happens is, is we find just a peace and a contentment come where, where we're able to just be still know, and know that God is, um, is moving on our behalf and that, and that he who began a good work in us, man, is faithful to complete it until the day that Christ returns. And I think sometimes we, we can forget that. When, when I think about the prophetic word or, or the word that I want to give everybody or what I see God doing in the earth, I think of uh, what Peter said that when talking about Jesus and he said we, we, we have a more sure word of prophecy now. Um, and then what the author of Hebrews said, uh, speaking of Jesus, that in the past, God had spoken to us through the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us through his son. And so we have a more sure word of prophecy. We have a prophetic word that is manifested to all people in the person of Christ. And so the prophetic word, um, the word that I see for 2017 is Christ. And the thing that I see God doing in the earth and doing in the lives of people is I see God bringing people into a deeper revelation or a, or a more uh, a greater understanding of Christ. I see God bringing people into the knowledge of the Son of God. I see God bringing you into a deeper revelation of what it means that Christ is in you. I see God coming and revealing His Son in all, all of us more and more and more and more. I see God strengthening our hearts with the revelation of our sonship in Christ. And, I, and what I find uh, that I see God doing is causing us to grow in his wisdom um, and also at the same time growing in the stature of our sonship, where we begin to find um, our, the life of the son manifesting in us. We begin to find um, in our hearts the, a word crying out that says, it's no longer I who live but it's Christ who lives in me, uh, meaning that the life that I have, it's no longer my life. It's no longer the life that I can have in the world, but the life that I have is the life of Christ and that that life is seated at the right hand of God. And so what I see God doing in, in your life is, is I see him bringing you into the knowledge of the Son of God. I see him revealing his Son in you. Um, at, a, 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 to, at a deeper uh, level than, than before. I see him bringing into a, you into a deeper revelation of what Paul meant when he said, Christ in you, the, the hope of glory. Um, and, I, and I just see that through this, uh, you have a confident expectation that you're going, to, um, you're going to see your heart established more in grace. You have a confident expectation that you're going to experience a greater degree of God's love, of God's peace, of God's joy, 
uh, of God's faith, of God's long suffering, of God's kindness in your life. You're going to see um, trust being born in your heart towards God in areas that you hadn't been able to trust God before in the past. You're going to see a greater level of uh, rest and peace manifesting in your heart. You're going to find um, yourself uh, being set free from, from things that have uh, held you captive in the past, that things that had, had caused you fear and anxiety in the past, you're going to find a new level of trust in those places that had normally caused you to feel fear and anxiety. You're going to feel a new level of safety come over you um, when you find yourself in the place where things that had normally bothered you come against you. You'll find a new level of safety through the revelation of your sonship in Christ in realizing that the Father and the Spirit are sitting there with you. Um, protecting you, preserving your life, guarding your heart. Um, glory to God. I just see that uh, that um, that all these things are going to come to pass in your life apart from uh, you and, and your works. That, that all these things are coming to pass by God and His grace. And, and I just see that the Holy Spirit is, is going to give you eyes to see in your heart what God is doing on your behalf and you won't be sitting around wondering if God's moving or when God will move or, or how will he move but you'll begin to see um, with through the eyes of your heart you'll see God moving on your behalf you'll see the Holy Spirit guiding you into the knowledge of the Son of God you'll see the Holy Spirit guiding you into all the truth that was revealed in the birth the death the burial the resurrection and the ascension of Jesus and you'll find your heart established in the word of what God has done in Christ. And you'll find your heart stabilized in grace. And you'll begin to find uh, that grace, man, giving birth to the life of the Son in you. And, you, and you'll, you'll begin walking in the earth the way Jesus walked in the earth um, when he was on the earth. Glory to God. I just thank you, Father, um, for what you're doing in the lives of people. I just want to wish everybody a, a happy new year. Uh, it's a blessing to just get to share this with you. Um, and man, just realize that the spirit is moving, uh, in your life. The spirit is moving to, to set you free from, from things that have caused you harm and pain in the past. The spirit is moving to deliver you from any captivity. It's, it's moving to, to heal, um, whatever areas of your heart had gotten broken in the past. It, it's moving to give you eyes to see God as Abba and to see yourself in the fullness of your sonship or the fullness of your daughterhood. Um, the Spirit is moving to uh, just comfort you um, and to just let you know that God is always there with you, comforting you. Thank you, Father. You guys have a happy new year, man. We love you. Uh, we love everybody uh, at Gospel Revolution Church. And, and from Gospel Revolution Church to everybody out there, man, we love you guys and uh, uh, wish you a happy new year.